Hey YouTubers, how's it going out there? Cyberneck Shark with another new movie review for you. So let's get right into this review and see what I saw. So the other day I had the pleasure of checking out a new, awesome, excellent CGI animated film based on a book series that I just think was really fantastic. It made me want to read the book series even though they're more for kids. And that is the film Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. So this awesome CGI film, which is so well crafted, so well done, lots of great comedy, lots of great voice casting in it, and just really beautifully directed. Now this awesome film, I feel, is just one of those ones that you can't not, not laugh and you cannot like not enjoy because it's just so much fun. Now this film is directed none other by Mr. David Soren. Now, David Soren, you might recognize as a animator and basically like a, a, a character storyboard artist and stuff for a few movies over the last, you know, decade or so. But he really hasn't directed much except for this film and one other film. Now, that one other film, which I think is a, another fantastic CGI film, and I think it's just really awesome and funny, is the awesome film made by DreamWorks as well called Turbo. Now, Turbo, if you're not familiar with it, is about basically about this snail that gets this like shell backpack thingy that makes him super fast and makes him the fastest snail in the world. And basically, he goes into like, you know, being like a racing snail, basically. And it's about his story and making friends and trying to, you know, be the best snail he can. And it was just a really fun and awesome story and just really well, you know, casted as well for voiceovers and so forth. It was just beautifully directed by David Soren. Now, David Soren, I thought, did an amazing job directing, you know, Captain Underpants movie. He, he, he brought out a lot of great, you know, one-liners for the voice cast to bring out. He, he made it just look just like the actual artistry i mean he made it very fun and hilarious very you know very warm-hearted but at the same time you had a lot of great comedy that really produced through the voiceover work but the awesome comedians that he casted it's just a really all well-rounded film and he directed it so beautifully and just directed and made a really awesome like family adult uh just animated cgi film now, like I said, this movie has an awesome cast. Like, I mean, this has, like, a really great cast. And to start off this awesome cast, we have none other than Mr. Hangover himself that, you know, you know, he gets a tattoo on his face, like, you know, uh, in the second film of the Hangover series. All that good stuff. Mr. Ed Helms. Now, Ed Helms, you might recognize, like I said, from the Hangover trilogy, but you also might recognize him from The Office uh, and a slew of other films over the years. Now, a couple movies I really enjoyed him in and thought he was super funny in. And also, one was kind of a dramatic film comedy, too. It was a dramedy. And I thought he was really good in it. He was very sincere, but at the same time, he had a good comedy element to it. And that is the film Jeff, Who Still Lives at Home. Now, this movie is just a really good dramedy. you got Susan Sarandon in it. You have Jason Segel. You had Ed Helms. Just a really well-rounded cast, too. And it just was a fantastic and wonderful film. Really awesome, really funny, uh, and just really, you know, tugged at the heartstrings a little bit, too, at the same time. But it was really fun and just enjoyable, and I thought Ed Helms' character was awesome as Jeff's older brother, who kind of, like, you know, is trying to teach him the way, but at the same time, he's like, you know, you're my younger brother, you suck, you know, blah, 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 and he just, he's really awesome in it. Another great film that Ed Helms is in that I think he's absolutely awesome and just a really great pleasure to see in, added into this franchise and given it this franchise a new life. And that, of course, is the film Vacation, which is you know based off of all the National Lampoon Vacation films where he takes over for uh, the rusty role from the National Lampoon films. Now, this movie is just super hilarious, too. Just so amazing and funny. He was absolutely awesome as Rusty in it. I loved his character. I thought he was super hilarious. I loved how kind of deadpan he was at the same time. And how he brought to life again Rusty. And how uh, he gave you know Rusty a whole new life. And I thought he did a really good job at that. And just made a really fun film. I mean, he worked really well with Christina Applegate. You know, everyone that was involved. And it was just a really fun and funny film. Now, it comes to the awesome voice of 
in Captain Underpants the movie. He is awesome as the principal slash Captain Underpants himself. He is so stinking funny. And every time he goes, tra-la-la, it was absolutely hilarious. I think that was super funny. And he just, he was like so perfect for the role and, you know, stuff like that. And he had that exact kind of like Superman sound kind of like character, you know, goody two-shoes type of person. And that was perfect for Captain Underpants because from my understanding from the books, he sounds like that. And that was like the perfect direction and perfect casting of a character. And I thought he brought a lot of his great humor to the character too. And just, you know, made a really awesome and excellent character. He was a really great, you know, addition to this film. We also have in this film another awesome actor who is just absolutely funny, amazing and hilarious, and is always great in his stand-up, and always just really funny in his films. And that is none other than Mr. Right Along himself, Kevin Hart. Now, Kevin Hart, you like I said, you might recognize him from the Right Along films. You might recognize him from a slew of other films that he's done over the re years. You know, Meet Dave, uh, C uh, Central Intelligence... Uh, films like that. But a couple films I really enjoyed him in and thought he was super funny in was an awesome Josh Gad film where he was kind of like the lead actor along with Kevin Hart. And that is the film The Wedding Ringer, which I thought was a really well done comedy. I don't think it got enough credit for how funny it was and how silly it was. And I just thought everyone worked really well together in that film. And Kevin was a, just a really awesome and funny force in the film. And I loved his character in the film and how he was like kind of like trying to be this, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, basically like a maid of honor almost and just being like this guy, like trying to make the best wedding. But at the same time, everything he picked was just like so off the bat and stuff like that and super funny. It just was a really well done role by Kevin and he was just super hilarious in it. Another great film that Kevin Hart was in that I think is another underrated one of his that doesn't get enough credit. It's an awesome Will Ferrell film that came out in 2015 or 2016. And that is the film Get Hard. Now, Get Hard, if you don't remember that one, basically Will Ferrell is going to be going to prison because he's been uh, basically... Uh, framed for uh, ta basically like kind of like tax evasion stuff and you know breaking the law and stuff like that and so he decides to ask a you know an african-american man to show him the ropes of basically of being in prison so that he's not you know taken advantage of so he asked kevin hart's you know uh for help to help him become more gangster for prison and basically the movie's about that and Kevin Hart was just so hilarious in it because he plays like such a normal everyday guy but at the same time he tries to be like gangster and ghetto and stuff like that in the film and I think it's absolutely hilarious just like how he tries to bring it off and like the places he takes him and like some of the lines that Kevin Hart says are just super funny really hilarious film if you haven't seen it one of Kev's best I feel uh, you know, roles. He was so super funny and just a real pleasure. And I thought he worked so well with Will Ferrell. Made a really good film. Uh, I hope they make another one together, but this was really good. But Kevin was really awesome in it. Now it comes to the voiceover in the awesome Captain Underpants movie. He was absolutely hilarious. I loved him as Beard. I thought he was super funny. He was perfect. I loved how he made his voice a little bit higher a little bit to make it sound a little bit more kiddish. I think that was absolutely hilarious, and I thought he did a great job of playing that character. Super funny, worked really well with the whole film and just everyone that was involved with it. And he just was a great addition to that film, too. Great work by him, and just I thought he was perfect as Mr. Beard's character. And he was just really awesome, and I really enjoyed it. I couldn't imagine anybody else doing his voice because he was just so cool. Another great actor and comedian that's in this film that I thought was a great you know, choice too as well is none other than Mr. Silicon Valley himself and Verizon commercials recently. And that is Mr. Thomas Middleditch. Now Thomas Middleditch, like I said, you might recognize him from Silicon Valley. You might recognize him from a few other films, The Campaign and so forth. But a couple films I really enjoyed him and thought he was super funny in were such films as an awesome 2014 film that's just, it's absolutely hilarious. He was so awesome in it and so funny. And that is the film Search Party, which was just a really awesome comedy. Both me and my girlfriend laughed so hard at this movie because it was just so sick and funny. And every scene that Thomas was in, he was just like super perfect and hilarious. And we laughed so hard. 
And he just was so super awesome in it. We loved his character where he was trying to take it. We loved everything about it. And I just thought he was so fantastic at it. And he really showed how good of, you know, a comedic root he has. And just how good he can be at comedy. And being kind of like that spazzo type of guy too. And he just was super funny. Really well done in that film. And just a great pleasure to see him in that film. Another great film that he was in, and that's considered kind of a horror comedy film that has a great ensemble cast as well, and that is the film The Final Girls. Now, this awesome movie is probably one of the best horror films that the horror comedy films they've made in recent years. Super amazing film. Love the soundtrack in it. Lots of great '80s music. Uh, great casting. You had Vera Farmiga in it, uh, or uh, Tessa Farmiga. I'm sorry. Uh, we had, uh, you know. Uh, Lots of great other people in it. Adam Devine. You had, uh, you know, a whole bunch of slew of awesome actors and actresses in this. But Thomas Middlejist's character in it was absolutely freaking hilarious. I loved how, like, stupid and hilarious and, like, skittish he was. I liked how he was trying to analyze everything about it because he's, like, such a horror movie fanatic. And he just was perfect in it. And he was super funny and he was great as Ali Sarkowitz, uh you know, brother or half brother, what he's supposed to be, and it was just he was super hilarious. I absolutely enjoyed him in it and thought he was super fantastic. Uh, I hope they make a sequel and he gets to be bit in it again because he was just like super hilarious and he just did a great job. He he was like such a nerd and I loved all of his one liners in the film because they were just like so perfect and perfectly timed. Once again, showing how good of comedian he is and just how good he is at acting as well. But it comes to the voiceover and Captain Underpants movie. He was really awesome as the character. I really enjoyed him. I thought he worked really well with Kevin Hart. I thought that they bounced off each other very well. And as these best friends, they really protruded it through their voices. I thought it was very, really believable. And I just thought he was a great addition. His voiceover was really fun, uh, really enjoyable, and just really well done. A great addition to this film. Just made the film even more funner and just really amazingly done and just a really fun role too. I really enjoyed it. Thought he was really fantastic. To round up this awesome cast, we have none other than Mr. The League himself that is absolutely hilarious and had his own show on Comedy Central and that is Mr. Nick Kroll. Now Nick Kroll, you might, like I said, might recognize him from his The Kroll show on Comedy Central or The League on FX. Uh, you might also recognize him as the Maitre D in Date Night, the movie with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. Uh, you might recognize him from a, a few other films too as well. But a couple films I thought he was fantastic in were such awesome movies as the awesome animated CGI film that Seth Rogen was a part of. And that is the film Sausage Party. Him as the character of the douche was absolutely freaking hilarious. Oh my gosh, his voice in it like was kind of recognizable, but not all the way. So I kind of like the whole movie. I was wondering, is who is that voice? Because he is absolutely hilarious. And he like through the whole movie is like, bro, 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 you talking to me like that, bro? Yeah, bro, let's go. I'm gonna take you down, uh, bro. And it was just like so stinking funny, and he was so good at that voice, and just it was like so hilarious and that was just such a hilarious movie too because it was like so adult and just like so out of the box and stuff between you know what you know food does when we're not around and stuff like that and and his portrayal of the douche character was absolutely hilarious he was so funny and so good in that and i absolutely loved that voiceover i thought he was really awesome and i still couldn't believe it was him too another great movie that he was in that i really enjoyed and thought he was super hilarious and, and just fun. Is also another Thomas Middleditch film that was kind of a dramedy a little bit. Had a dramatic element to it, but it was more mostly comedy and just had a really great ensemble cast. And that is the film Joshi. Joshi was just an interesting and different type of comedy film dramedy. It was along the lines of, you know, sleeping with other people, uh, you know, films like that. And it just was really, you know, funny and really good. And I thought Nick Kroll's character was really awesome in it. He, you know, kind of plays like kind of the head honcho person that's taking care of the, you know, bachelor party and stuff like that and, and stuff like that. And, and he just was like super hilarious and I absolutely thought he was awesome. He just, he put on this great kind of like 
very mature persona, but at the same time, he was, like, so crazy and out of whack, and when he got drunk and was doing stuff, you're like, why are you doing that? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not off the walls, you know? It was that kind of role, and it was just super funny. Really well done. Really super awesome. I love that it had a little bit of a dramatic element, like I said, and that it, you know, Nick Kroll kind of brought through a little bit of a dramatic role as well, and I thought that was amazing, and it was fun to see him in kind of a different type of capacity in his acting abilities, and I thought he did a really fantastic job and made a really great film. But when it comes to the voiceover and the awesome Captain Underpants movie, oh my god, he was absolutely hilarious as, uh, as Mr. Poopy Pants, who is the name of the bad guy villain in this story and he was absolutely hilarious and his voice was really awesome he had kind of like that albert einstein kind of voice going or the yes and and what are you going to take this way you know and it, it just was like really funny and just really well done and he, like he really protruded through his character's voice you know a lot of his you know nick Krollisms. And he brought a great life to the character and made it really funny and fun. Just a really well-rounded voiceover role. And Nick Kroll was just super awesome. And I think Nick Kroll is a very underrated comedian and just actor in general. And I think he brings a lot of great voices to movies these days. And I think that he's so good at like doing different voices and you don't re realize it's him. And he, di he does that with uh, quite a few of his films that he's done voiceovers in. And he's just really awesome. I really enjoyed him in this. And I thought he was perfect as, you know, Dr. Poopy Pants. Uh, really amazing. And if you're laughing and g or giggling when I'm saying Poopy Pants, that's in the movie, people. You should check it out. Super funny. Who can not say Poopy Pants and not go, oh, Poopy Pants. But yeah, great, great role by Nick Kroll. And can't wait to see him do more. Really awesome. So if you're not familiar with what Captain Underpants is about, the movie, the first epic movie, basically what it is, it's a, basically about the story of these two best friends who their principal keeps like messing with them and wants to separate them. And so they decide to make this decoder ring, basically, where they can hypnotize him and turn him into a fake superhero that they created called Captain Underpants. And basically what's ended up happening is they take basically the first three books of the series, put it together, and have it where he actually gets abilities and becomes an actual superhero, basically. And that's pretty much what the premise of the film is about, is about them, you know, getting this principle off their back and creating Captain Underpants, basically. It was a really awesome CGI film and great book series, I feel. Uh, just It was really fun and enjoyable. I laughed my butt off the whole time watching. It was so super entertaining. Definitely something I'm going to add to my collections. Uh, it, it's just a really fun film, especially if you're a fan of all types of movie genres. This is a great movie to add or just to watch and check out for yourself, people. It's really funny and fun. Uh, definitely, definitely can't wait to add this to my collection. Really fun. Giant 10 golden mood boxes up on this one, people. Really fun and enjoyable. Definitely should check it out, people. Worth the watch. So that's it for this movie review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. And also, thank you for subscribing. And if it's your first time here, if you've been here before and you haven't subscribed yet, are you waiting for a grand invitation? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss one of these awesome videos I put up. Or any of the awesome videos I put up. And always keep your eyes out for any older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, check out the awesome link down below about the awesome horror pack. Now, if you've seen my reviews before, you know what the awesome horror pack is. It's a monthly subscription service that comes right to your door every month of awesome horror films. Now, you can either get this in DVD or Blu-ray format, and each box comes with a limited edition you can't get anywhere else. So if you're a big fan of, like, collectibles or out-of-prints or anything that you like to, you know, that's precious, like with a signature or something, what better way to get it for a cheap price included in your price for awesome, you know, box? So definitely check that out, and if that's something that interests you and you want to sign up, hit that link down below and you'll get sent right to the site and get a discount on your first month, people. That's right, discount. And as always, people, check out the awesome Stardust app. Now, the Stardust app is an awesome, awesome little app that you can either download on the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store. And you can watch 3 to 30 second little mini reviews on TV shows, movies, trailers, uh, documentaries, uh, anything you can think of, anything that's brand new or older too as well. And this awesome community is always constantly growing and people are always, always putting up new material. So definitely check that out. And if you don't already have it, download it. Then go ahead and follow me at Cybernetic Shark as well. And I'll follow you back. And as always, catch the next one.